действительно есть неполадки с турбинами. Э, турбина после капремонта еще не пришла, не установлена, она в пути. Э, будем надеяться, что это произойдет э, раньше, или раньше, чем позже. Э, вот. Но есть и определенные неполадки с другой турбиной. «Газпром» работает над этой ситуацией. Еще раз повторяю, ситуация критически осложняется теми ограничениями и санкциями, которые введены против нашей страны. Не будь этих ограничений, все осуществлялось бы, все ремонтные работы, гарантийные, ремонтные, сервисные работы осуществлялись бы в, в обычном, рутинном, оперативном порядке не приводя к таким ситуациям, которые мы видим сейчас. Well, I think it's clear that uh, Russia is using the gas flow as uh, as leverage. Uh, specifically, uh, it seems that uh, that Moscow does not want uh, its major European customers to come into uh, next winter with uh, full storage tanks. It, it wants to ensure that the uh, the reservoirs the gas reservoirs in Europe uh, are well off you know what they what what they what, what is needed so that the reliance on Russian gas will continue and that Europe will not be able to risk kind of a, a political escalation that could result in the disruption which would then have an immediate impact on the economy And so we already see uh, Russia is selling more oil to countries like India, to China, to the Middle East, uh, elsewhere. That cannot happen with gas. Gas is not as, as portable, is not as easily uh, displaced from one market to another. You need expensive uh, infrastructure that takes years to build. So, you know, uh, Russia, therefore, I think, is, is, is trying to... I suppose be clever uh, in our, our, our trying to create this balance where it's keeping pressure on, on Europe, you know, this kind of threat of, of a reduction in gas that could lead to economic disruption and in exchange, perhaps hoping, hoping that they will then get some geopolitical leverage uh, when we get to the point of, of uh, start talking about peace terms in, in East Ukraine. Uh, but at the same time, they can't push it to the point where there is a complete shut off uh, and a crisis, because that then would force Europe to end much sooner its import of Russian gas. Uh, and that, that would cost Russia a lot of money. I don't believe that Moscow would consider such a move uh, almost under any circumstance, because not only would the economic impact back home be very severe, But it also means that because of the economic consequences globally, then, you know, Russia would probably lose friends very quickly. Because right now, uh, you know, the, Russia has got a good relationship with so-called friendly states, the Middle East, Africa, most of Asia. Uh, but if Russia were to take an action that would participate in a global economic crisis, then those relationships would probably fail as well. And therefore, Russia would end up very isolated for a very long time.